In our preparations for the 2016 teen scam, we planned to have 180 children in total. And we put in a cut of time and a cut of date. To our surprise, <laughs> even on the morning of the departure, we still had people coming in. We had people bringing in money, we had people who had come in with their bags already to register for teen scam. We were overwhelmed, but we tried to keep to our numbers, not very successfully. that memes can motivate, memes can do a lot. And we just realized lately that our children are losing the grip of what it is all about. Rather, they want to sing songs that are not inspired. And so in this camp, we have decided to introduce hymns to encourage them. And the reception has been encouraging. They all loved it. They want to be part of it. And to the glory of God, some of them even want to know the reason why we have them like that. Can you tell me about Work It Out? In the course of the program this year, we have spoken to them, spoken to their hearts, and in the course of the ministration, we've been able to engage them in deliberate discipleship. Our desire is to see Christ formed in every teenager. Thank God our focus this year is on prayer. We desire to let them know that God does nothing except in answer to prayer. The practical teaching, making the Bible real by demonstrating to each one. All of these efforts are purposely to ensure that we discharge ourselves of their blood so that we will not be guilty of the blood of anyone. They can say, I didn't hear. We have cancelled them, we have discipled them, and interestingly, we have, we have even taken out a proper strategy to gather them together in a very humorous way because we have discovered that it is uh, for the youths and for the teens one very nice way of getting to them is engaging them by humorous activities and as they are opening up to what you are saying to them we're able to find out and get into them and address issues that bother on their life the essence of the bible study group is to strengthen teenagers awareness of scriptures and how to work out their prayer life more effectively through the study of the scriptures. We have in a row 12 groups for some of the teenagers it has been a high opener and uh, their lives have been positively changed and in particularly the questions that they ask shows that they have a hunger for God in terms of knowing how to pray. Teenagers were more receptive. They made decisions. We, we could see the depth of the decisions they made. Seeing the Holy Spirit breaking through their hearts, seeing them surrender to God, some in tears. As they came to cancel us with hearts broken, with tears in their eyes, saying, I'm not going to do this again. I have decided I'm not going to do this again. And that is what the Holy Spirit wants us to achieve. We wanted, we prayed that God would bring about and that he did in their midst. Flesh shall no longer have dominion over you in the name of Jesus. Before the things come, I listen to hip hop songs and all those songs here. Yeah. But so during the camp, Pastor Sam gave some sermon about the things that are behind the songs. That made me believe the songs. And after the things come, I have not listened to hip hop songs. It, it, it goes a long way to tell us that God actually was in our midst. And our, our greatest desire is that they will never recover from what God is doing in their life. And wherever they go to, people will see the Lord in their lives.